Once upon a midnight jungle, while George snored through tooth and tongue, Ape was far too scared for napping, when suddenly there came a tapping. George! 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 I didn't do it! I didn't do it! No! <laughs> That rhino's eating Shep's food. That's not Shep's. That's George's bag of chunk of munch. Bad rhino. <laughs> you want food? You go get your own. Get out. Uh uh. Too late for puppy eyes. <laughs> What's with George? Last night he had to get tough with a rhino. I think it bothered him. Oh, George was too tough on him. He was just being a hungry widow rhino. Oh, please. That rhino got just what he deserved. George? George! Rhino! Rhino! <laughs> rhino, talk to me. What have I done? What have I done? You wait right there. George is sorry. Here, eat. Eat. <laughs> George, are you sure that's the same rhino? George will never forget that sad look in what used to be his eyes. <laughs> uh. Why don't we take him to my dad and see if he can do something uh, witch doctory? <gasps> you hear that, little buddy? George gonna fix you up. <laughs> Even if we can bring these bones back to life, I mean, should we? It's tampering with the laws of nature. Stop! Oh, Here you go, Riney. <gasps> Back away from the patient! It is hard enough to try and speed read the Forbidden Scroll of Forbidden Knowledge! Mutter, 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 mutter. Hmm, what's this? Huh? Oh, that's lightning in a bottle. Very hard to catch. Ooh, how's it taste? <laughs> George! <laughs> no, George! <laughs> anywhere.
Oh, doesn't ancient forbidden practice mean anything to kids today? But, Daddy, all the other witch doctor's kids get to bring dead corpses back to life. I have told you, zombies are a scientific impossibility. I don't know what you're all worried about. Forbidden sunscreen. Okay, oh, here we go. Forbidden zombies. Boogity, boogity. Hey, it's forbidden. You mind? Look, I'm sure George has this whole thing under control, right? Yup. Uh huh. Taken care of. <laughs> What the? You girls hide. I'm gonna follow George to see what he's after. What is it, George? Okay, that's just plain. What's taking him so long? I think we'll be safe in here. Be a zombie to eat these. Ooh, company! I'll get the door! Oh, yeah. oh don't worry, it's just Tookie! <laughs> a zombie to like that stuff.
It's a terrible jungle dilemma. Even George can't be in two places at once. And sometimes, harsh decisions must be made. Like George, the only solution is to do it. Oh, you say that about everything. No, I don't. My picture won't stay on the wall. Drill. Oh, my basketball's flat. Drill. My tummy hurts. Drill. I'm not getting into this with you. I've got a jungle king to drill. Quiet. Yeah. Okay, George already handle it. How? There's millions of them. <laughs> My word, I believe that was a strike. Yeah, no biggie. George and roll. <laughs> We're out of milk. I can't have my nightly Earl Grey without milk. It would be barbaric. No problemo. George, get more. George, no. <laughs> Remember what happened the last time you went for milk? George forget milk, but he poor little Wolverine lost in jungle. And the time before that? George forget milk, but find fuzzy pointy things all alone in jungle. And the time before the time before that? George forget milk, but baby fire all alone. George like to help. That's all well and good, but you always forget the milk. This time for sure, George on roll. Yeah. George back. George get milk. <laughs> George, what happened? George get milk. It's been two years. Uh. Uh. George get a little lost on his way home. You got a little bit. Uh, George, make tea. You'll feel better. Uh. Oh, uh, oops. Best before two years ago. George, take back and get new one. No, just pull the milk. Okay? No, not okay. I feel amazing. It's like I'm one with the universe. This overaged milk has developed some unusual properties. You must try some. No, thank you. No, no, George, fine. But why settle for fine when you can be incredible? Try it. Uh, George, rather not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got to. George, where have you been? The jungle's out of control. <laughs> Aw, my 
farm is said to have babies since George gone. Jungle bananas! No worry, George fixed jungle. Now, seem pretty messy. It's hopeless! How can you... <laughs> what was that? Because it's amazing! I know, right? <clears throat> Ursula, no want! <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, extra dangerous. Everything go better with milk. <laughs> Jungle all happy. But how milk do that? Magnolia, no science reason? Science? Who needs science when you've got milk? Your turn, George. Uh, George, pass. Someone must need help. Uh, somewhere. What with him? Who cares? As long as we have the milk. Must be something for George to do. There you go. No charge. Remember, kids, after every meal. What was once a jungle ruled by tooth and claw is now a dreamland of peace, love, and understanding. Jungle's so happy, nobody need help from George. What do now? Story of George of Jungle by George of Jungle. One day, jungle go happy. The end. Oh, now what George do? <laughs> What? Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> Just follow your bliss, bro. Uh, Sky Boys try milk too? Happy jungle boring. George wish he never bring milk from store. Bad George, if jungle happy, George should be happy. You smile, you. Huh? Cheese? George never buy cheese. Where cheese come from? Milk do this. <gasps> Friends drink milk. <gasps> Friends in big cheesy trouble. <laughs> the milk is good. The milk is great. The milk is fast. It's best for me. The milk is good. The milk is great. No, milk not great. Not even good. We'll turn you to cheese. My ears here, right? This is sacrilege. George has gone mad. Mad, I tell you. Now, George, all you have to do is stop all this crazy talk and have some milk. Why <laughs> don't you stop? Stop moving! No, uh, George, no drinking. Let's take milk back to store and buy here instead. <sighs> Sadly, George leaves us no choice. Get him! <laughs> oh, music. <laughs> <laughs> some silly cheese story and take away our precious, precious milk. But there's not much time left to save jungle. Even if your story was true, how would you do that? Hmm? Like this. Hey, milk, you fix everyone now or else. Fine, you ask for it. Good, now you're one of us. Why didn't you just drink it before? Weird. Not a cloud in sight. George lactose intolerant. Uh -oh. Milk always make tummy very angry. But maybe that what jungle need right now. <gasps> Great apes! It's true!
the cheese. George, <coughs> he found the antidote. He is antidote. <laughs> Exploded bad milk cape. I'm crying over the cure. Thank you, George. You saved us. No problemo. Now, still need new milk. George, no! Don't worry, Abe. George on roll, remember? <sighs> the jungle at night is a vast, dark, scary place. The invisible spiders above. <gasps> Where? The undetectable serpents below. Ooh. And in the middle, the possibility of stepping in something, you don't know what it is. Oh, great. And on the third night, he heard the ghostly knocking again. But as he reached for the door handle... I can't take it! It stopped. <laughs> but then on the fourth night... <gasps> Not the fourth night. The moon was full and the wind was howling. <gasps> <laughs> Again, he heard the knocking. He reached for the door handle. He got closer. Um, Ursula, can I talk to you? Oh, this is Benz! I didn't know you were going to tell scary stories. Ooh, this is a good one, too. But George can't handle it. Normally, nothing scares him, but a scary story is something he's really afraid of, and it makes him impossible to live with. Well, uh, no drinkable blood in here. <laughs> no, no, sir. Please, for the sake of my sanity, change the ending to something unscary. No, don't tell me. Please tell me. No, don't. Wait. George just has to get a flashlight, a baseball bat, a diaper, a bullet to bite on, and another s'more. <laughs> okay. He opened the door. Yeah. And behind the door. Yeah. Standing there was. 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 Uh, <laughs> That's right. Behind the door, there was nothing at all. The end. <laughs> Funny, huh? And not scary. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> Good thing I don't enjoy sleeping. <laughs> I better get ready for the pot banging and the head sitting and the... Huh? Who are you? Mr. Jungle's head of security. What's your business in the treehouse, sir? I live here. Just a sec. What? It's Eddie. I got an ape down here. Name? Ape. Says his name's Ape. Says he lives here. Is he scary? No, I wouldn't say scary exactly. More furry. George, let me in. Here's that ape. He pulls anything, let me know, and I'll be back up here with the boys. Or he can blink an eye. George, it's me. Prove it. What color are our dishes? Filthy food color with globs of spaghetti. Oh, you're good. What poster does George have hanging over his hammock? A framed enlargement of the cover of Mantler Comics, issue one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, George just changed it. What number am I thinking of? How am I supposed to know that? Quit stalling! Five! You always think of five. <gasps> All right, last question. What's behind you? Nothing. Oops. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> eh? Oh. Why are you sleeping out here? Remember that thing I said about George becoming impossible to live with? He's too afraid to let me in the treehouse. What's he afraid of? Nothing. <laughs> then what's his problem? No, he's literally afraid of nothing, and there's nothing everywhere. Oh, that's ridiculous. Tell George I think he's being ridiculous. 
I'm sure that'll help. Hi. Hi. Two pieces of ID, please. Ow! I'll need this for DNA testing. Ain't see anything outside? No, nothing. I mean... George knew it. Nothing's out there. Waiting for me. George, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's what I've been saying. Look, just because Ursula's story ended with that word, there's no reason to be afraid of that word. Go to sleep. Not until Ape checks the closet. <laughs> what does Ape see? A large hungry monster wearing a bib holding a knife and fork. Oh, oh well, better than nothing. Well, good night. <laughs> George, I'm gonna be outside doing some gardening. Oh. George, what's this in my gloves? Oh, uh, there was nothing inside them, so I filled them with gravy. Uh, at least it's something, huh? George, uh, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Now our bathroom is a steel safety chamber. If anything goes wrong, just pull the evacuation switch. Isn't this a bit extreme? No, it's waterproof and fireproof. Nothing can get in and nothing can get out. <gasps> nothing can get out! <laughs> Normally, George isn't afraid of anything, but now because of that story, he's completely afraid of nothing. An idea. I, I tell him the story again, but change that nothing at the door to something so ridiculous George would never see it. What? I know stuff. Okay, it has to be something that George will never find in the jungle in a million years. How's about something from one of them stupid gift catalogs? Like a, a jewel encrusted breast pickle. <clears throat> it's just something I've always kind of wanted. I checked the perimeter, boss. There's no nothing anywhere. Hey! Jewel encrusted brass pickle. Ha! Well, that'd be a great thing to have. I've never seen one in the jungle. Georgia of the jungle. Big tree house, middle of jungle. Tookie Tookie! Tookie Tookie! Good, Tookie. Uh, deliver this for George. <laughs> Suspicious hairy biped at six o'clock. George, glad I caught you. That story of Ursula's the other night? Well, she got the ending wrong. But if nothing wasn't behind the door, then... <gasps> Where was it? She's going to tell it again with the right ending tonight. <sighs> Back off, Weasel. And he opened the door, and behind it was... A jewel encrusted brass pickle. Pickle? That's impossible! Aw, oh, come on. You can't be afraid now. What are the chances a jewel encrusted pickle would show up in the jungle? <laughs> George, mail. Ooh, the new 80 cent banana stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hi, George. There's a... <laughs> George? If that's a brass jewel encrusted pickle, George's not here. George, you can't hide in there forever. <laughs> that's what she thinks. Can't open her. Check. Flashlight. Batteries, self-inflating getaway boat. Check, check, and check. <laughs> I've got an idea. How about I just tell George the truth? For some reason, that scares me more than the pickle. The truth about the campfire story. No twist, no spin. Maybe if George hears how silly the real ending is, he'll get over this for good. Eight pair of socks, two thermal. 
George? Yes? I have a confession. I made up those endings because Ape told me to. Don't drag me into this. Well, you did. I'm gonna tell you what's really behind the door in the story. Not a pickle? No, and it's not nothing. Not a pickle holding nothing? Nope. You're gonna laugh. It's so out there. So the guy opens the door and standing outside... Yeah? ...is a vampire zombie weasel! Zombie weasel in the Oh, no. We're here till Halloween? Shit! Everybody knows that George is king of the jungle, master of all he surveys. That's right, George. Show that lizard how we treat dinosaurs in our jungle. We suplex them! But who's at the bottom of nature's grand hierarchy? Few creatures inspire as much derision as the ring-tailed leaf licker. <laughs> Hey, maybe it's the fungus that grows between rhino toes. Or could it be someone else? 124, 125, 125! Oh, seriously? Close, but even this little guy's three rungs up from Magnolia. Another new parasite. Fantastic! I'll call you, um, Midgley Jr. <laughs> Einstein, Curry, Copernicus, no making fun of the new kid. Oh, great. Breakfast time. Oh. Need food to make new blood. Ah, my face! My face! Sometimes I hate this place! Okay, get a hold of yourself, Magnolia. It's... it's not so bad. George, where are you? No worry, George, save you. Sorry, rain check. You're leaving? Why are you leaving? That is the distress call of the hook-billed hiccup bird. So? It's a World Animal Council endangered species, which means it's a priority rescue. If George doesn't rescue endangered species, the World Animal Council gets very, very upset. There, all safe, Hiccup Birdie. <laughs> Hi! Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Magnolia need new place to sleep now. I need a new place? I'll show that feathered squatter some sweet science. Magnolia? Berg am dangered. That mean he get first choice of home. <laughs> All under control. You can't be serious. Endangered species, huh? Two can play at that game. And we'll see who gets the last hiccup. Magnolia set to work. Years of creatively filling out grant applications would finally pay off. like to shave two seconds off the next rescue, okay? Huh. We received a memo this morning saying you had rescue priority. Clearly it was a mistake. Mistake this, Furface! I'm officially...
officially an endangered species. Magnolias terrificus? Please, George, we're leaving. You can't. I'm the last of my species. My kind used to live in Happy Science Valley. We frolicked with our hypotheses and experiments until one sad day, Grant Money Lake just dried up. We were devastated and lost hope. And then we all got dysentery or something. You're a woman in your 20s with a science major and a liberal arts minor. You're hardly endangered. Magnolia's story, so sad. Magnolia hungry? Want back rub? Anything Magnolia need, just tell George. I'll take it. But this is where George and I live. <sighs> Magnolia's Terrificus needs proper shelter. The slightest sniffle could spell our doom. You can forget that. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no worry, Magnolutovkirpkus. George and a find new place to live. <laughs> She'd better feel awfully guilty right now. Woohoo! Look at me! Ouch! Ow! Okay. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> Magnolia okay? No, I'm not okay. Ursula is the only natural predator of Magnolia's Terrificus, so do something about it! Magnolia, no worry. We take Ursula to Exile Island. You do what? Yes, Exile Island. It's the locked, forgotten attic of the jungle. A place to hide all of nature's mistakes. <laughs> has gone far enough. I'm just getting started, baby. Magnolia, think of the jungle species that are actually endangered, like the no-legged zebra. How do you think the chocolate elephants feel? Think of all the animals we're losing while George is busy rescuing you. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that the part where I'm suddenly supposed to start caring? Look, Magnolia, I know life in the jungle can be hard for you. Hard? Hard? You have no idea what my life is like. I was eaten three times yesterday. Three by the same snake. Don't push your luck. This certificate makes everything all better. <laughs> it's my ticket to the first class section of the jungle. That's it. Uh, give that to me. Nah. She leaves me no choice. A word? Ah, another beautiful... <gasps> what? What's uh, happened? Ow! My endangered nose! Good morning, Magnolia! Oh, sorry, I mean Magnolia's Terrificus. Welcome to your new World Animal Council Sanctuary. Let me out! I'm afraid we can't do that. Magnolia delicate, so Magnolia put in cage for protection. What's that? Why, it's breakfast. No more ice cream for you. Just a scientific blend of dry seaweed and weak old graham crackers. <laughs> No worry, Magnolia. It tastes good. Yeah. Oh. Ah. 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 Exercise time. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay. Ah. I hate you all so much right now. You can't keep me locked. Oh, 
snake pants. Sleep it off. Besides, I think she's in a very happy place. <laughs> 